Hello, I'm Jane Curick, Executive Director of the Provident Bank Foundation. Thank you for your interest in the Provident Bank Foundation and our signature grant process. Before I begin, let me tell you a little bit about the Provident Bank Foundation. The foundation was established in 2003 to support 501c3 organizations that provide valuable services to the New Jersey and Pennsylvania communities served by Provident Bank. The foundation makes grants in three priority areas community enrichment, education, and health youth and families. For our signature grants, each priority area has its own request cycle with specific deadlines. These can be found on our website. The foundation is run by a small but mighty staff. There's myself, there's Samantha Plotino, our foundation associate, and Donna Abbott, who's our administrative assistant. Now what sets us apart from other foundations is that we are accessible and very responsive to anyone who reaches out to us. We're passionate about the work we do and the support we're able to provide to our communities. Now the purpose of this video is to respond to some of the most common questions about our signature grant. We hope this video will provide you with information so you can decide if the signature grant is the right funding opportunity for your organization. We encourage you to read through the detailed signature grant guidelines, which are available on this website. About the signature grant, it is a high level funding opportunity intended to address an immediate need through long-term sustainable change. Requests should be specific to a program or project. Now some examples of what a signature grant request might focus on include developing a new program, enhancing current services, building impact, capacity building through technology, or increasing outreach. Please note signature grants cannot fund campaigns, capital improvements, events, or multi-year requests. It's also important to know that each request is scored individually based on its own merit and is not compared to other requests. Now a common question we receive is if a signature grant can be used for general operating support and or for salary. Signature grants emphasize sustainable community enhancement and long-term change. For some organizations, that may be defined as general operating support to enhance a program's reach or the creation of a staff position to run a new program. Now, another question is in regard to the foundation's geographic requirements and how it is determined if an organization is providing services within the bank's marketplace. The Provident Bank Foundation supports the communities Provident Bank serves. This includes 13 counties in New Jersey and three in eastern Pennsylvania. In addition to identifying the primary service county for a request, the applicant must identify the specific towns or cities which will receive the greatest portion of funding or the bulk of services as the result of the program or project. While an applicant organization may be providing services in a county where Provident Bank has presence, the foundation must drill down deeper to ensure it supports the towns where the bank has a physical presence. We also receive questions about our financial reporting requirements. Please understand the foundation is mandated by its auditors to obtain specific financial reports from its grantees. Therefore, the foundation cannot make exceptions to our financial reporting requirements. To qualify for a signature grant, an organization is required to submit its most recent audited financial statements. If an organization does not have audited financial statements, it is automatically ineligible for a signature grant. Additionally, an organization must submit its most recent Form 990 with the letter of intent. And last but certainly not least, we often receive questions regarding joint requests and collaborative projects. We want you to know the Provident Bank Foundation believes in the power of collaboration and that organizations can do more together than alone. 
As stated in the Signature Grant Guidelines, organizations partnering with others for a requested program or project must have one principal applicant for the request, but all partner organizations are subject to the same rules and requirements as the principal applicant. This includes, but is not limited to, financial reporting requirements, progress reports, and status updates, as well as promotion and publicity. A great example of collaboration, and one which we're very proud of, comes from a 2015 signature grant led by the Jersey Battered Women's Service. JBWS, in partnership with six government and nonprofit organizations, established the Morris Family Justice Center. The center functions as a comprehensive, one-stop shop for victims of domestic violence and their children, where they can access the tools, services, and support they need to safely cope with domestic violence. Please be sure to review the signature grant guidelines for the full details on joint collaborations, including information for organizations collaborating with schools and the requirements associated with each request. So again, thank you for your interest in the Provident Bank Foundation's signature grant. We hope this has been helpful as well as a supplemental resource to our signature grant guidelines. If you have additional questions, please contact the Finn Foundation using the following information.